Now we will discuss some oxides of elements. Some metallic elements can form basic oxides and non-metallic elements can form acidic oxides. And what are those oxides and how they will define, we will discuss in this session. First one is basic oxides. The nature of basic oxides, how they behaves with water. By this they are defined basic and acidic. In general, metallic oxides which are dissolved in water gives some bases. Those are comes under basic oxides. That means when metallic oxides are dissolved in water, they give some basic solutions. That's why these are comes under basic oxides. So take a simple example like uh, first group elements sodium, lithium, potassium, rubidium, cesium can form their corresponding oxides. When these metallic oxides are dissolved in water, they form basic solutions. Take a simple example, sodium oxide. When it is dissolved in water, it forms basic solution that is sodium hydroxide. From this you can say, the oxides which gives the basic solution by dissolving water, those are comes under basic oxides. Another example, calcium oxide, group 2 element. When dissolved in water, it forms calcium hydroxide which has a basic in nature. But some non-metallic oxides when dissolved in water, they give the acidic solutions. That means the corresponding water solution have acidic nature. So those are comes under non-metallic oxides. That means non-metallic oxides dissolved in water gives the acidic solution. That means the corresponding solution which is formed in this uh, reactions is acidic. So these are comes under non-metallic oxides. Take a simple example. Carbon dioxide when dissolved in water it forms uh, carbonic acid that is uh, H2CO3. It has a acidic nature. And another one non-metallic uh, oxide that is SO3 sulfur trioxide when dissolved in water it forms sulfuric acid which is also having acidic nature. So this non-metallic oxides when dissolved in water they forms the corresponding acidic solutions. So these are comes under non-metallic oxides. But some acids are formed for the non-metallic oxides. Some bases are formed for metallic oxides. But some oxides which are having both acidic and basic properties which are comes under the amphoteric oxides. That oxides have forms both acid and base when dissolved in water. That means the oxides which are formed both acids and bases in water solution are called amphoteric oxides. Take a simple example, aluminium oxide, beryllium oxide, zinc oxide, stannic oxide like this. That is aluminium oxide which have amphoteric nature, beryllium oxide, zinc oxide, stannic oxide, arsenic oxide. These all are comes under amphoteric oxides. That means when these dissolved in water it forms both acidic and basic characters. Now we will see how these uh, metal oxides which are having both uh, basic and uh, acidic natures is varies in periods and groups. How these are varies in periods and groups. This variation is depends again on electronegativity and electropositivity of the elements. Electronegative elements does not wants to lose the electrons so which are having non-metallic character. So, in the period, as you move from left to right, the nature of acidic is increases in the period. That means, in period, metallic nature decreases and non-metallic nature increases. We already discussed, metallic nature leads to formation of basic oxides. But non-metallic nature results to formation of acidic oxides. So, 
as we move from left to right in the periods this metallic nature decreases and non metallic nature is increases you can say the basic character in the period is decreases and acidic character is increases take a simple example in the third period in third period the oxides of corresponding third period elements is na2o mgo that is magnesium oxide Al2O3 aluminum oxide SiO2 P2O5 SO3 Cl2O7 these all are corresponding oxides of a third period so we already know that metallic nature is decreases means group 1 group 2 elements have metallic nature so the corresponding oxides are metal oxides those forms the basic solutions so these two are basic in nature this is strong base and this is somewhat weak compared to first group elements and i already discussed this aluminum have amphoteric nature both basic and acidic characters after this the basic character is decreases and the acidic character is increase this sio2 is weakly acidic this p2o5 also acidic in nature so3 this is also acidic this is also very strong acidic that means as you move from left to right in the period this acidic nature is increases and basic nature is decreases then what about the groups in a group the valence electrons is same and uh, the size of the atom is increases from top to bottom so metallic nature is increases and non metallic nature is decreases so you can say in a group basic nature is increases and acidic nature is decreases that means in a group metallic nature is increases when the metallic nature is increases the basic characters also increases the basic nature is also increases but in the same way non metallic nature is decreases but uh, acidic nature decreases and uh, basic nature increases